Hey there everybody! Today I'm going to be showing you a few essential requirements that you'll need to know when you get Muscovy Ducks. You're also going to find out what happened when everything went terribly wrong. So stay tuned! If you still aren't sure if you want to get Muscovies, then watch episode 69, which is linked at the end of this video and down in the description. Number one, there's no place like home, really. When you get your Muscovy ducks, you need to keep them in a cage, kennel, or a chicken tractor like the one I made. If you want to learn how to make this chicken tractor, then you can view the description or the links at the very end of this video. You will need to keep them in this enclosure for about two weeks with clean food and water so that they can know where their home is. They also like fresh greens so that some lettuce would be wonderful. Number two, protection from preying predators. So these birds have incredibly sharp talons and strong bills, they can't protect themselves completely. Like this morning we went outside with a camera to film some video of these sweet muscovies playing and it wasn't pretty. Predators can definitely get to these perfect birds. Raccoons, foxes, badgers, beavers. Beavers? Yeah. Seriously? Raccoons, rats, <laughs> and other predators. So please protect your birds. The image is just, it's too gory to show. So I'll blot it out with this nice picture of Bunky. It's true, Bunky cried. Look how sweet Priscilla was. She's all the way on the right. After losing Priscilla, we figured now was a good time to start keeping the Muscovies and the Runner Ducks in the barn at night. Which took once, twice, a few times to get them in. We'll be keeping them in here for warmth during the winter and protection. We decided we would need something fierce, strong, and fast to protect them, too. Like Paisley and Mari! Don't they look vicious? Their barks and scent keep the raccoons away. How much water do they need? Like most ducks and geese, a muscovy likes swimming and splashing in a pond. They also like to crash land in ponds. Not only do they need water to play in, but because they bathe in this water, it's very dirty. Do you want to drink from that? Me neither. We also leave out this tub full of water that they always either tip over or get dirty, so we need to clean it two times a day. Number four, how do I know what to feed them? In the warmer months of the year, when there are warmer months of the year, which there are, we let our ducks out into the vineyard to forage for bugs all day. And at night, they come in and get some nice, good, non-GMO food, which I'll get into in a minute. We know they eat a lot of bugs because ever since we got them, our bug population in the vineyard went from everywhere to hardly anywhere. That is, in fact, the main reason we have them. We like to feed them non-GMO layered duck food that we get from our local feed store. It's healthier for them and it's nearby. Number five, what is the perfect duck to drake ratio? That all depends on what you want them for. If you want to hatch Muscovy ducklings, then you should get one drake for every three to six ducks. If you want it purely for eggs to eat, I would suggest all females and no drakes because drakes don't lay eggs. Number six, how will I get them a nest that they'll like and that they'll use? For their house at night, we let them into the barn and they stay in this. The Muscovy Hotel. We have a roof on it, two sides, and this ledge to keep the babies from falling out. We also put some hay and straw in here so that they're comfortable. It's about a foot off the ground because in the wild, Muscovy ducks like to nest in um, trees. This makes them feel a little more at home. Number seven, Muscovies can fly. Like most ducks or geese, Muscovy ducks can't fly. To avoid them flying around your property and getting out, all you need to do is clip their wings. Clipping their wings is quite simple. 
All you need to do is hold them out sideways, like this, spread out one of their wings, and trim the feathers off. Don't go too close to the upper side of their wings, or else you'll hit a blood feather and they'll start bleeding. That will hurt them. Fun fact! Muscovy ducks can live up to 20 years old. Let that settle in for a minute. That's a long commitment. Well, that's all. Remember, there are seven bats. Shelter, water, food, nests, protection, and staying home. Hi, we're the Vineyard Chicks, and we'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Go ahead, click it now. We'd love to hear your questions and comments, so leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Thank you.